everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a chatty get ready with me, testing and playing with a few new products. I'm gonna be playing with these new Smashbox Sculpt and Glow face palettes. Uh, Smashbox was kind enough to send me these two palettes in PR. Also, I picked up a new shade from Patrick Ta, so he launched a few new blushes. And of course, if you guys know me, I had to grab the new peach one. This is the new shade, She's the Moment, and oh, my gosh, what an appropriate name for this blush. We also have these new shades from Merit Beauty. These are the solo shadows. Now, one of them was sent to me in PR from Merit, which is surprising because I haven't been on their PR list in a minute. That's like the first time they've reached out to me in over a year. Uh, and fortunately, it was a product that I was really excited to try. I told you guys that I was gonna grab them. So they sent me a shade and I also bought a shade. So I'll be sharing my thoughts about these new shadows from Merit Beauty. Also, this new concealer from Calorie. This is called the Hideaway Brightening Under Eye Concealer and Corrector. We're gonna be talking about that. And I think that's it. Oh, and the new, and a new eye tint that I got from Armani Beauty. This is a deluxe eye sample. This is in the shade number 11, but I'm gonna put this on and share my thoughts. Not a full face of new products, but definitely enough to have fun with. All the products that I used in today's video, I will link down in the description box down below, along with tagging them in the video. That's pretty much it for the intro. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'm not gonna try a new foundation, even though I do have the new Kosas BB Burst Tinted Gel Cream. I haven't tried this yet, but I've swatched it. And, oh, I don't know how you feel about it, just based on swatching it. Like it, it seems like you have to like really rub it in. See all the skipping marks? Like, I don't know how I feel about that. It looks like it's hard to rub in, and then it seems like it dries fast. So, I, I'm going to be gone all day today. I have a couple of appointments. I don't want my base makeup to be bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the OG foundation, which has been my OG recently. I know. Look at me, I got jokes. This has been like my go-to and I just love it. It's so dependable and I need something really dependable today. So that is what we're gonna do. My face has got quite a bit of redness. Um, so I need to kind of like cancel out that redness. Now my trick with this is to put it all over the face with a brush just so that I get like a nice even layer of it. And then going over all of my face with a sponge to kind of push it into the skin and also pick up anything extra that might be like setting on the skin. Oh, I just love this foundation. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Uh, first off, I'm gonna put this e.l.f. on. This is the Glossy Lip Stain. I've been wearing it in the shade Power Mauve and I wear it to kind of like give some color to my lips because this color like will stain the lips and then it lasts throughout the day. So I have an appointment next month with my plastic surgeon um, for like a follow-up appointment. And it's been two months since I had my surgery. This last two months has flown by. Like I remember being in it, like healing from it. I'm like, I'm never gonna feel normal. Like it's, I'm never gonna feel normal again. Here I am, I feel completely normal. And like right back to myself again, which is so great. But anyway, so my surgeon, I think I told you guys this, but my plastic surgeon has a, it's like a spa along with the plastic surgery office. And he has like two different spaces. Anyway, no matter. They, because of the implants, which is Natrell, um, my implants are Natrell, they are with Ally, which Ally is like Botox and filler and stuff like that. So um, be, they gave me an offer, basically, it was a full syringe free, and I could use it towards either filler or Botox. And I've been wanting to get my lips redone again. I'm definitely in need for Botox, right? Like you can see all that starting to come back, but 
I have my own med spa for that. So um, I decided to use this for lip filler, which is exciting. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of my NAR Soft Matte Concealer on my eyelids just to kind of cancel out that redness and kind of define the brows a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera because it's really hard for me to talk and do my brows at the same time. So I'll go ahead and finish this up and I will be right back and we'll move on to the products that I wanted to try and test out and play with today. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's go ahead and put on some concealer. So I went ahead and picked this up on the Sephora website. This is from Calorie. And I was interested in this concealer because I really liked their uh, tinted moisturizer. Let me grab it. This, I really, really liked this. This is called the Free Dreaming Diffusing, or Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. What I like about it is that when you put it on, it dries and kind of sets down. So it's one of those skin tints that it has longevity. And so it's not gonna rub off throughout the day. It's really a really nice formula. You do have to always give it a good shake. So because of that, I went ahead and grabbed the new concealer. So this is called the Hideaway Brightening Plus Hydrating Under Eye Color Corrector Concealer. Well, that's a, that's a complete mouthful. Doesn't come in a lot of shades. I went ahead and grabbed the shade Golden Hour. So this is what it looks like. It's not really a bad color. So I put it on a couple of days ago, just kind of playing around with it. I really wasn't wearing makeup that day. I just kind of put it on. The one thing I can say is that it does not provide a lot of coverage. So it's really like a light medium coverage situation. I wouldn't even call it a medium. I would say it's a light coverage. So I'm just gonna put a little bit like right here because this is where I have the darkness. Like this concealer is definitely more for those really lightweight, like light coverage days where you are wearing more of a skin tint, which is kind of what their line is. Okay, so this happened the last time I applied it. So I'm gonna zoom in. Hopefully you guys can see it like right in this area. It's quite patchy. And this happened the last time I wore this concealer. So it gets patchy and kind of breaks away from the skin. Like if I do this, you can hopefully see it. The last time I wore it, it did that exact same thing to me. So I don't know. I don't know that I really like this formula. Because of that patchiness, I don't really wanna go over top of it with like a liquid concealer because it might disrupt it and make it worse. So I'm gonna go over top of it with this concealer. This is from Glossier. This is the stretch concealer. And because this is more of like a, you know, balmy type that I can kind of build it rather than just dis disturb it. I'm just gonna kind of pat that in over top of it. I really like, I had to put some gloss on my lips, but I really like that Glossier concealer. It's quite hydrating. It's such a beautiful kind of natural concealer. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to some face products. I have this new shade from Patrick Ta, you guys. When I saw this new shade, y'all know I had to grab it. I've already swatched it. I haven't applied it yet, but I've already swatched it. But this shade is like absolute perfection for me because I love anything peachy. This is the shade She's the Moment, and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So I grabbed that. I was also sent these in PR from Smashbox. These are the new Sculpt and Glow face palettes, and this one is in the shade Back to Cali, and then this one is Berry Saturation, and this one is for darker complexions. I'll probably gift this to a friend of mine, but um, really, really pretty tones, but they're way too dark for me to wear. So pretty though. I was thinking about maybe using the highlight and the bronzer and maybe kind of playing around with this blush. I don't know, we're just kind of going with it. I am gonna dip my brush into this bronzer right here. And I have to build it up quite a bit to get it to show up on my complexion. It's a really buttery formula though. So 
um, it is easy to build, but I just don't like having to build it like this much. Because sometimes when you have to really build a bronzer like that, you run the risk of it getting too muddy and too much. And so I like a buildable bronzer, but I don't want to have to build it that much. Like there's that line. But I would say if you're my shade or darker, this palette probably won't work for you as far as the bronzer goes. But these blushes are really pretty and quite pigmented. Let me show you what the bronzer looks like. That's what the bronzer looks so, like. Let's put this beautiful blush on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna apply this blush this, the way that Patrick Ta suggests, and I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta blush brush. Okay, so this has some radiance to it. Okay, I'm gonna take this part of my sponge and go over top. So pretty. Blush is absolutely beautiful. Probably one of my new favorite shades from him. It's kind of, for me, it's like a peachy pink. It kind of reminds me of the shade Orgasm from NARS. It has that really pretty shine, but I wouldn't say it's a shimmery, right? Like the, Nor the NARS Orgasm definitely has a little bit more of a shimmery base to it. But that shade though, it reminds me of the NARS and it's beautiful. It also reminds me of the Hourglass Incandescent Electra blush, which is one of my all time favorites. Oh, that blush is so pretty. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go into this highlight in this palette. Oh yeah, really pretty. Now I think they have four shade options of these from Smashbox. I do need to add just a tiny bit of bronzer. I feel like I need some bronzer. I'm gonna grab this Hermes bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and dust a little bit of my hourglass powder all over. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury and place it on my under eye. But I need to get rid of those creases first. And then I'm gonna spray with some Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to eyes. And in my last Get Ready With Me, I told you that I could not wait to order the new Merit. Um, these are called the Solo Shadows. And actually, Merit went ahead and sent me one shade in PR. They sent over the shade Studio. And I've wore it several times. You guys, this is a fabulous formula. Fabulous lasts all day, looks beautiful, easy to blend, easy to put on. Like this formula is fantastic. It reminds me of the Tom Ford and I don't know that Tom Ford makes these anymore. So it re that's what it reminds me of. When I first, when I first played with these uh, solo shadows, I was like, wait, it, is almost identical to the Tom Ford formula, like the way that it feels, the way that it blends, like it's baffling. And I don't know if these are even available anymore from Tom Ford. Um, I think I have two shades from Tom Ford. I thought I had two shades. I have this darker one right here from Tom Ford. Uh, this one is in the shade Abyssian. This one's Abyssian. And then this one right here is the Naked Eye. So that shade right there is the shade Studio from Merit. And then I went ahead and bought this shade. So I loved this one so much, the one they, they sent to me. Then I went ahead and grabbed me another shade. Uh, this one is Mid-Century. So that's Mid-Century, that's Studio. So these two are from Merit. So you get more product in the Tom Ford. So the Merit Beauty comes with five milligrams 
and the Tom Ford is seven. These are gonna last a long time, a long time, unless you're using them like every day for a year. Maybe, right? But like the formula is so similar. Once it dries and sets down, it's kind of hard to smudge and it's fabulous. So if you guys have been wanting, look, I, ca I can't even get them off. Like it's gonna take me a second to get them off. A total dupe for the Tom Ford. It, they've been really hyped up on TikTok but that doesn't always mean anything. Just because something's hyped on TikTok does not mean that it's gonna be good, but they got this right. Like these are fabulous. Now I also yeah. got this eye tint from George Armani. Now I did not buy this. This is a deluxe size sample uh, that I get, got with my order and I cannot read that writing. So this is shade number 11. So these are eye tints. So shade 11 is called bronze and it is being described as a rose gold shimmer. So I thought about doing is using these from Merit on the eyes and then putting this over top just to kind of play around with it. So I'm gonna use the shade mid-century and I'm basically gonna put this like all over the lid and in the crease. A little goes a long, long way and they give you time. So I'm gonna wipe my brush off they give you time to buff out. Like if you get any harsh edges and stuff, they don't dry so fast to the point where you have to work hard because they've already dried and you've goofed. Like they blend and buff into the eye like a dream. They're so good. Now I'm gonna take a tiny bit on the tip of the brush and kind of fill in some sparse areas. This is my favorite formula from Merit, and I'll be honest with you, this might be my new favorite cream eyeshadow formula. And the Tom Ford was one of my favorites because of how easy it was to use. And Merit knocked this out of the ballpark. Like whoever designed this and approved this, they knew exactly what they were doing. I'm gonna put that on a little bit of a pencil brush and I'm going to buff that into the lower lash line and then kind of like see how easy that is and it's they're beautiful and they're so creamy but yet once they're on they're on I mean they could not have perfected a better formula in my opinion like these are so good and see I've been wearing them like this so I will just wear it like this all day um and not even put anything over top of it because it's just so perfect on its own. But I do want to try that eye tint from Armani, so I figured why not. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade from Armani. By the way, that's what the shade looks like. It's really pretty. So we'll see how it applies and blends out because that's going to be the key. And I'm going to have a brush handy, so I think I'm just going to grab the refer number 21. Put some like right here on the lid. <laughs> That's stupid camera, I apologize. It always wants to focus on my hand. Even though I have the auto tracker for the eye, it still wants to track my freaking hand and it ticks me off. I'm like, stop it. Okay, so that adds a little bit of shimmer. It's not too much shimmer, which I'm super happy about because um, I like these, I like that just real soft shimmer where it blends in and looks more natural and it works perfect with this mid-century shade from Merit. So I went ahead and finished the other eye. The one thing I do need to mention about these Merit Beauty uh, what are these called, single shadows, whatever, is that you wanna put the lid on and twist it because the twist locks the lid in place. Um, I would just be very diligent on making sure that the lid's on. It's not like a normal lid. It goes on, but then you wanna hear that click, okay? So you screw it on and then you can hear that click. You want to hear that click just to make sure that they're shut. How do I feel about the eye tint? I like this from um, Armani and it's really soft. I love the really soft shimmer where it's not too much shimmer for the eye. 
Um, I like that, but I did have a little bit of issues with it on this side, kind of, maybe it was just the way that I applied it, I don't know. Um, but it is a nice eye tint. It's, it, you know, if you're someone that likes a lot of shimmer with your eye tints, this might not be the right formula or the right color for that matter. Um, but if you like something really, really soft and beautiful on the eye that's not overwhelming and doesn't have a lot of shine, that is absolute perfection. Okay, so I was kind of going through what Merit sent over. Oh, I didn't even see this. Look at this brush. I Why didn't I use it? I just pulled it out. I apologize, you guys. What am I thinking? But this is the brush that is supposed to go with these. I mean, you don't need to use it, obviously, to apply it, but this, was created for this product. And I love how it has this small little pencil brush on one side and then you have this brush on the other where you can apply it and it has a little bit of density but also some stiffness. Great design for a brush to apply those shadows. So um, I just wanted to mention that. They did send over this, which is their mascara and I'm gonna go ahead and use it. This is called the Clean Lash Mascara. I've used this mascara before in a full face of Merit Beauty, so I did like a full video on it, which I will link that video up here in the iCards. I tried a lot of Merit products in that video, um, so, and I don't really remember how I felt about the mascara, so we're gonna give it a try again. I'm gonna put a little bit here on my lashes I have Lashify on in the style Tulip. Sometimes I like to just put a little bit of mascara on the tips of the lashes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my lower. So I went ahead and put on two, I went ahead and put two coats on the lower lashes of this mascara. And the one thing I can say is that this mascara dries quickly um, and it, doesn't really give you a lot of time to kind of like work it into the lashes before it dries. However, I kind of like it because I'm curious to see if it will smudge throughout the day because it feels like it's not going to transfer down to my under eyes and stuff. So I kind of feel like it might be one of those formulas that is long lasting, but it didn't really give me a lot of time to kind of uh, build and kind of finesse, if you will, the mascara. So something to kind of take note of. The one thing that I've got, I forgot to say about the eyeshadows, the one thing I do want to mention is that, like I mentioned earlier, I am like, like almost a month past the time that I do my Botox. Normally I get Botox every four months, but I'm pushing it to April because I'm getting ready to go to Florida and I want it kind of fresh before I go. So you can kind of see that my crow's feet are really, uh, you know, they're showing like way more than they normally are because I get Botox in that area. With that said, this formula lays beautiful over top of wrinkles. If you're looking for a really easy uh, cream eyeshadow that blends beautifully and is easy and lays really pretty over wrinkles, because oftentimes with cream products, especially like this, once they dry, sometimes they're not really gonna give you that time to kind of blend it. And this just lays really pretty over wrinkles, blends beautiful. Like this is a 100% fantastic five, you know, 10 out of a five product. Um, but I did wanna mention it, it works really beautiful over wrinkles. Now I think as far as lippy goes, I'm just gonna put this one on from Merit. This is the signature lip, and this one's in the shade Slip. It's showing a little bit rosier because I have that e.l.f. lip stain underneath, uh, but this shade would be so perfect. This Slip shade would be perfect to wear with um, either, actually either one of these shades that I have with Mid-Century or Studio from Merit. So this is the signature lip in Slip. <laughs> this is the solo eye in mid-century and this one is in studio. So this shade goes obviously really well with mid-century, but it would go just as good with um, studio. Okay, so makeup is on. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this chatty. Get ready with me testing and playing with a few new products. Sound off down below. Have any of you guys tried any of the products that I used in today's video? I'm so curious to hear your thoughts. So definitely sound off down below. 
especially with the calorie concealer. Like I'm curious if I'm the only one that's had that issue with that. So definitely sound off down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.